Cruise news time. Well, we got some fun ones for you today. The first one we have is a cruise ship. A cruise ship on the run from a hurricane, from a storm. Also, Carnival is getting a new cruise ship, a new old cruise ship, and they've had to make some decisions. Are they going to change this or that? What are they going to add? You may be surprised the thing that this cruise ship isn't going to get. There's a story out there of cruise terminal workers who... Well, they, they had a little bit of a challenge, and and uh, there's a big milestone for the brand new Cunard cruise ship. Uh, also, I got some Australian news. Cruise news! Let's talk about it. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news and my views straight for your cruising face. It is... Thursday, September the 8th, 2022, and today I find myself uh, in Jamaica, Falmouth, Jamaica, Falmouth, Jamaica, Falmouth, Jamaica, on the uh, Royal Caribbean Harmony of the Seas. We've already got off into port. We went to Margaritaville over there. It's been a great cruise so far. Uh, again, we talked yesterday about the tragic situation of one of the passengers on this ship uh, passing away during a shore excursion. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's weird. We also talked about how life is a series of happiness and sadness, and it happens uh, globally all at the same time, and that it's important to make the most of the day. And so uh, while we uh, have heartfelt feelings for those that have had loss, uh, we're also trying to seize the day and live it the best that we can. And then uh, before I recorded the show today, the uh, iconic leader in the world for the last 70 years, uh, Queen Elizabeth the second, I believe, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of England, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, has passed away uh, after being on the throne since, I believe, 1952. Uh, that, to put it in perspective for us U.S. citizens, well, of course, I wasn't alive, but Eisenhower was the president. So think of all of the things that have changed since the 1950s, and uh, Queen Elizabeth has been the queen since all of it. And um, yeah, it's, um, the, you know, the monarchy is an interesting thing in the U.K., uh, but either way, uh, uh, kudos uh, to Queen Elizabeth for being able to uh, serve. Uh, you know, her life is, was dedicated to service. Uh, she was never expected to be the queen, and through weird circumstances of her uncle and then a, a premature passing of her father, uh, while well, she became the queen for 70 years, and uh, from everything that we see from the outside, uh, wonderful service to that country. So, uh, wow, uh, there you go. Queen of England has passed away. Uh, now let's talk about let's talk about a cruise ship that is trying to outrun uh, outrun a hurricane carnival cruise ship the carnival magic uh, on a cruise five day cruise to Bermuda uh, already this has already occurred they were supposed to stop in uh, Bermuda on Wednesday stay all day Wednesday and then most of the day Thursday today and then leave Bermuda well guess what uh, the hurricane Earl. Earl, Hurricane Earl had other plans for the Carnival Magic, uh, the trajectory of Hurricane Earl going right across Bermuda, forcing the Carnival Magic to shorten its stay in Bermuda, and instead of staying most of the day Wednesday and most of the day Thursday, well, they hightailed out of there uh, yesterday evening. Uh, they left Bermuda on Wednesday, and now today a sea day for the Carnival Magic instead of another day in Bermuda. Uh, look, it's that cruise life, folks. Uh, I made a video, Times That You Should Not Cruise, uh, and hurricane season is one of those. Times You Should Not Cruise if you're worried about your cruise being disrupted. Uh, sometimes you can get some great deals during hurricane season, but hurricane season is one of those times for cruisers where you got to be loose as a goose, uh, knowing that things can change, and that's certainly uh, something that has changed for the folks on the Carnival Magic. Are you on the Carnival Magic? Uh, did you get changed up? Leave a comment below. Cruise news story number two. We are marking a milestone in the shipbuilding process for another cruise line. This cruise line owned by Carnival Corporation, Cunard. Cunard has laid the keel for the Queen Anne. Uh, this is one of their new cruise ships, 3,000 passenger cruise ships. And the keel was laid at the Fincantieri shipyard in Venice, Italy. Italy. The keel laying really the first step in the shipbuilding process. This ship, the Queen Anne, is set to be completed and sailing in 2024. The Queen Anne will continue Cunard's luxury style of cruising. 
uh, with the throwback deco design, uh, but a lot of new amenities. I've never been on one of these Cunard ships. One of the things that you have to do on Cunard is you have to dress up almost every night. And uh, it, a little hesitant to go. I think it'll be great. I think it will be a throwback to the heyday of cruising. And uh, at some point, I would I would probably be on a Cunard ship. Have you ever sailed Cunard? What do you think about the process? Are you excited about the new cruise ship, the Queen Anne? Cruise news story number three, a big milestone in the cruise restart and another big milestone for Australia as the Pacific Adventure returns to service, servicing the port of Sydney starting on Friday, the 9th of September. Uh, the Pacific Adventure will be known as Sydney's cruise ship and she will start her voyage as sailing out of Sydney Harbor on the 10th, on Saturday the 10th. And what is significant, well, it's significant in two ways. The first thing that is significant, it is the final ship in P&O Australia's restart plan. Uh, all of those ships will be back into service. And the second significant thing is it is the tallest, the tallest cruise ship ever to sail under the bridge there in Sydney Harbor. Now, I don't know if any of our friends in Australia will be near Sydney Harbor on Saturday when the Pacific Adventure leaves. But if you are, and if you could, uh, maybe turn your cell phone into landscape mode sideways and take some video of that ship leaving Sydney Harbor and send it to me at Tony at LaLitaLoca.com. That would be sweet. Uh, but either way, congratulations to P&O Australia for completing their restart. And congratulations to another cruise ship doing cruises in Australia, uh, bringing cruise enjoyment to our friends uh, in the land of Oz. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. How about that? Now, I've got two more cruise news stories to tell you about. I've got one that uh, involves some cruise terminal workers uh, taking an afternoon swim. That That's not really true. And also, I've got to tell you about the newest Carnival cruise ship coming into the fleet and some changes and not changes that they're making. But before we get there, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, mm. Mm. Please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. Thank you in advance. I came back to the cabin last night, and uh, I tell you what, our, our cabin steward is a virtuoso when it comes to the towel animal. Um, and interesting television choice. So let me roll this piece of footage. Swiper no swipey. The towel animal is watching Dora the Explorer. Craziness. Cruise news story number, whatever the next number is. Cruise news story number next. Uh, let's journey forth to the Great White North and go to Vancouver, Canada, where, uh, well, there's a couple dock workers that had some challenges while unloading luggage. And the challenges that they had is, well, they, they fell right in the water. Uh, two luggage workers, dock workers, at the same time, around the same time, uh, unloading luggage. Both ended up in the drink, and then a couple more folks jumped in to save them, and then eventually all was saved. Uh, one was able to climb out of the water via ladder, and then the other three had to be loaded onto a pontoon boat uh, to be rescued. I don't know the status of the luggage, if any luggage went in with them, uh, but obviously the people more important to the luggage, unless your luggage had that big diamond in it that Rose stole from the Titanic, and uh, it still bothers me, right? Like, uh, all that that they went through, and she had that diamond, and then at the end she just threw it into the, like, her family could have used that, right? You know that she had some great niece somewhere that was struggling in art school, and needed some tuition money, and great aunt Rose just chucked the thing off the back of an exploration vessel. Selfish. I guess we know that about Rose. Selfish. The, the board was big enough for Jack. I digress. Okay, yeah, so uh, every all's well that ends well. Uh, the funny thing in the story, though, I was reading the report on uh, Cruise Industry News. They said that the emergency services was called out. Let me give you the exact wording because it was funny. Uh <laughs> Vancouver. They said that they said that the Vancouver Fire and Rescue Services and a BC Emergency Health Services ambulance and bicycle crew uh, were called to the scene by the Disney Wonder at 8:12 on Labor Day with a U in it. Uh, why did they put a U in the word labor? Is that an Look, we speak good English here, good enough English here in America. We don't put U in labor. Uh, yeah. So even a bicycle crew like ding ding. 
ching, ching. We'll help you get out of the water. Okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's that I'm, I'm having a good time here on the Harmony. Uh, and the final cruise news story that I want to bring to your face, Carnival getting a new cruise ship, and they're adding some stuff, but they're not adding all the stuff to make it a Carnival cruise ship. Just a few days ago, Costa Cruises did their last sailing with the Costa Luminosa, retiring the Costa Luminosa from the Costa fleet, and uh, it will now be transferred over to and transformed by magic or a dry dock, transformed into the Carnival Luminosa. So this is a cruise ship that was built uh, in the same time as the Spirit class and the Vista class in the Carnival fleet. And so they call this a Vista Spirit hybrid ship. And so it's a newer cruise ship and this will be coming into the Carnival fleet. And so they're going to have to add some stuff to the old Costa Luminosa to transform her into the Carnival Luminosa. Let me tell you some things that they're going to add. They're going to have to add the Punchliner Comedy Club, a Red Frog Rum Bar, a Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse, a Bonsai, Bonsai Sushi Express, and then they're going to transform part of it into the adult-only Serenity Retreat. They're also going to get the signature playlist production shows, and they're also getting the new red, white, and blue livery. Livery. They're getting the new red, white, and blue livery to make it look like a carnival cruise ship, but one thing they are not getting is they're not getting a whale tail. They're going to leave the old funnel. They're going to probably paint it to a carnival color. It's not going to be this uh, yellow Costa deal. But yeah, they're not going to throw a whale tail on that thing. So it's going to be like a throwback. And so uh, that's the big question for all of you carnival fans out there, all of you carnival lovers. Uh, does it bother you that the Luminosa is not getting the whale tail? Which would you have rather had? Would you rather had the whale tail or the new uh, red, white, and blue livery? Livery. Uh, or a new playlist production show. You can leave a comment below. That is your cruise news and my views for this Thursday, September the 8th, 2022. Time for you to sound off in the comments. And uh, you also have a responsibility as somebody who's viewed the show this far. You now must depress uh, the like button. Uh, and unfortunately, if you do not hit the like button, I will be forced to punish you. And your punishment will be this. Uh, well, the only music that you'll be able to listen to on your next cruise is Van Halen's Right Now. Uh, it will be on repeat in your cabin day and night, tormenting your psyche uh, like you've never thought of before. You can avoid that torment, that psychological torment, uh, that listening to Sammy Hagar. I think he just turned 70. Uh, you, can, you can avoid all that by hitting the like button. Also, if you want to see that video I was talking about, about times not to cruise, uh, and one of them is interesting, especially if you got warrants. Uh, I guess I'm spoiling it. Check this video out next. This is Tony for La Lido. Until the next time. See ya on the Lido. Bye.